Welcome to Griffin's Gaming Guides. In this video, we're going to go over where you can acquire the Atom Smasher melee weapon in Remnant 2, which can be found on Nerud in the Terminus Station biome. Now, given the procedurally generated nature of Remnant 2, you might be able to find Terminus Station on your first run or your 20th. It might be there in campaign, or you might need to reroll adventure mode. Either way, once you're in Terminus Station, you need to progress all the way through, taking out the mechs as you go, where you're going to be able to board a train. Now, on the train event, which will start once you're actually on board, you're going to have five minutes to clear every enemy on the train throughout the carriages, including specials and tons of mechs. So bring your best gear and archetypes that you have and get ready for a very tough battle. Now you will need to bring every single enemy down. If you don't make it within five minutes, then the train blows up and it's back to the checkpoint for you. I'm not too sure if you can restart or if it's a complete world reroll in adventure mode, you're then going to have to possibly go off and find Terminus Station. If you do know, then let me know down in the comments below. Obviously, I'll pin the comment if need be, just so that way everyone else can find out. But either way, you need to make sure that you clear the battles within the five minute timer where the train conductor will then sullenly congratulate you and let you off at the final platform. And once you're off the train, you can then make your way through to the mini checkpoint. It's a very linear path. And then if you look back towards the train, the way you came from, go down the path to your left by ducking underneath the cables, go up the ladder and follow the walkway around where you're gonna be able to jump down onto the first carriage of the train. There's gonna be a hole in the roof Go down through there, you're going to find the Atom Smasher just over to the left after you drop down. Now also, whilst you're in the engine room of the train, make sure that you collect the Decorum Cypher, which will be glowing purple. Make sure you collect that as well, as you're going to need that to get a very powerful long gun in a different biome in Nerud. It just saves mucking around having to come and get it later. Oh, yeah. Now the Atom Smasher does have a baked in ability called Accelerator, where charged melee attacks increase the speed of all melee attacks by 10% for five seconds. So it effectively makes you hit a little bit harder. However, the weapon itself is a bit crap at level one. I am not gonna be putting any resources into this thing, as I've said in countless other videos that we've put up for Remnant 2. If a weapon can't prove itself for me at level one, I'm not gonna bother putting any resources into it if I can't see the potential. And this one, I've used it a fair amount, and it's just weak as anything compared to some of the other melee weapons you can get. It hits slow, but where it hits slow, I expect it to hit hard. However, it doesn't, and the increase in melee attacking at only 10% it's you don't even notice it to be fair yes it's got a lovely little animation where the kind of back of it lights up with a little rocket charge but essentially it's a little jet engine that's built into a hammer I expect this thing to go 50% faster not just 10% and for only five seconds it's it's one that if you want to use it, then feel free. Now you know how to get hold of it. If you're on the road as you're starting world and you're looking for a decent weapon and you can't find anything else, go off and get yourself an Atom Smasher. But to be completely honest, if you're powerful enough to survive the train journey all the way down through Terminus Station, take out every mech, including the special at the end, you are probably more than powerful enough to not worry about collecting the Atom Smasher. You're probably here for the Decorum Cypher, which you're going to use for a very powerful long gun in another guide we're going to be putting up. This one is there if you want to pick it up. But anyway, that's where you can acquire the Atom Smasher melee weapon. Whether or not you use it, the choice is completely yours, as is whether or not you want to click the like button, which I would very much appreciate. Either way, though, whichever you decide to do, please take care of yourselves out there, enjoy the rest of your week, and I do look forward to seeing you back here at Griffin's Gaming Guides.